Well, power ships uh, deliver a very fast delivery of power generation. So if you look at the delivering a 500 megawatt power ship from closure of a contract uh, to actually delivery of power, we're, you're looking at 120 days. Whereby on the traditional modeling, that would actually be somewhere in the region of four years, three to four years. So we're shortening that time frame into and condensing that as much as possible. So the customer gets delivery of power um, quickly and it's getting the lowest cost delivered power through the fuel flexibility um, of the power ships, whereby we operate either utilizing heavy fuel oil or uh, natural gas, uh, LNG or, C or CNG. So the fuel flexibility is uh, built into the model to deliver into the market as quickly as possible with the lowest cost of electricity. And uh, obviously the ships are running uh, to get that economy and get that low cost. Uh, they're running in a combined cycle operation uh, as well. So we're using and maximizing as much of that energy from the fuel uh, out into the electricity and down, down the power lines. Within Indonesia, we have delivered the first vessel that's operational. The second and third vessel will be uh, deployed and made operational prior to year end this year. And then next year, by the end of uh, Q2, we will have uh, the full uh, installation completed, operational. That will be generated, that will have an installed capacity of just shy of a thousand megawatts and uh, there's, it's in place to operate with a contract uh, firm guarantee of 540 megawatts. So it's a, it's a large size contract spread, spread across uh, a very varying distance, varying sizes from 60 megawatts uh, all the way up to 200 megawatts. So there are vari varying, various sizes of power ships are going to be deployed across Indonesia. Uh, within Indonesia, the duration, the duration of the contract is five years with the options to um, extend, increase, etc. So we've built in as much flexibility as the utility and the, and the country required at time of concluding the contracts. And uh, thereafter that, um, I see the greater Asian region uh, growing. Uh, so I don't see us going anywhere soon uh, out of the, the Asian region. We are supplying power to uh, the state utility, uh, PLN, um, across Indonesia, and uh, we are uh, contracted in West Africa to uh, ECG, to provide power into ECG. And uh, challengingly enough, we have two customers in uh, Mozambique, where the end user is uh, Zesco uh, in Zambia, and we have to work with uh, Zesco and EDM whereby we are generating the power in Mozambique, in the northern Mozambique in Nakala, and that power is going into the EDM network, and then EDM are wheeling that through the South African power pool into Zambia uh, to meet uh, the requirements of our uh, end user. So there's, a, there's an agreement in place which has been operating successfully for uh, the last, the best part of this year, uh, running out of Mozambique. The African continent as a whole is a growth market, as is Asia, um, the Americas. Uh, you're looking at a very small number of locations uh, that, and each of those continents uh, have vast opportunities that need to be developed. We um, have a, a plan in place, we have a strategy in place, and that has been rolled out over the last three, three, four years. And you can actually now see the benefits and the deliverables from that uh, over that period of time. Uh, today we have uh, we have a constant uh, build program going on at the, the shipyard here in Turkey, and we're building on a on a basis that we have various sizes of fleets, so we can 
add additional capacity to existing contracts, we can relocate ships, as we've done in some cases just recently, and the new build programme is uh, up to 6,000 megawatts that is currently being built and in the construction pipeline. Uh, there are homes for a portion of it, and the other portion of that it will be fitted out uh, through the coming months and years uh, to actually get that, put that 6,000 megawatts uh, to contract. There'll be a lot of growth next year. There'll be new capacity being added to the network. I, I would see Caraden is moving uh, towards the 10,000 megawatt capacity in a, in a period of time. Uh, that, will, that will come through uh, geographical growth, it will come from existing contract growth uh, and new, new, new business development that, uh, that, is, that is in the pipeline.